All right, welcome to Data Mass Concepts. Um, what we're looking at today is we're continuing on where we left off the last time. So I was looking at um, adding uh, negative and positive numbers. So at this time, uh, this time I'm going to be looking at um, how do we multiply and in the end looking at how do we divide the negative and positive numbers. But before you do that, I'm saying that if you have not yet subscribed to Data Mass Concepts, uh, please check out the channel, please subscribe, please like and share the videos because um, there are a number of videos on CXC, um, Add Math, PEP and just general mathematics overall. Alright, so you can just log on to the channel and, you know, learn. Alright, let's go to um, this. So we're looking at multiplying and uh, negative and positive numbers. So what we want to look at here, so here we have a negative 2 right here. We have negative 2 um, times 1. One of the things that we could look at is whenever we're going to be multiplying um, negative and positive numbers, the numbers will normally just multiply. For example, um, 2 times 1 will give us a 2. So I know that the answer is going to be 2. But we need to decide, is it negative or is it positive? All right. So I could say to you, um, sometimes some of these things are stuff that you're just going to have to remember. So if you have a negative 2 times a 1, you'll end up with a negative 2. All right. Because we only have one negative sign, we're going to end up back with a negative number. Um, so in this case, uh, 3 fives is definitely 15. And we're looking at there is only one negative number. So 3 times negative 5, that's negative 15. This one negative 2 times negative 3. Uh, whenever two negative numbers multiply, or if we want to say if we have an even number of negative numbers multiplying, it doesn't matter what else is around it. If we have an even number of negative mu number multiplying, we will end up with a positive number. So negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Now, uh, positive 5 times positive 2, definitely positive 10. All right, let's look at situation five all right so at situation five here we have negative two times a positive three times negative four what i'm suggesting here is because we're seeing one two negative numbers all right so we have an even number of negative numbers multiplying so my answer will be a positive number so let's look two times three that is six six four that is twenty four i'm suggesting because you have two negative numbers in the mix multiplying then we will get a positive response now let's look at case number six we we have definitely we have uh, negative one negative two negative three we end up with three negative numbers the moment you have an odd number of negative numbers multiplying the result will be negative so this is going to be a negative six because negative one times negative two that's positive two but positive 2 times or negative 3 will give us back that negative 6. So I'm just suggesting that this part would have given us a positive 2. And by the time we multiply by the negative 3, we'll end up with a negative 6. We can conclude, though, that if we have an even number, if we find ourselves with an even number of negative numbers multiplying, then it's going to be a positive response. And if we find ourselves with an odd number of negative numbers multiplying, we will get a negative number, all right? So let's go to division. Now, the idea of division, though, is similar to multiplication. Now, the rules are the same. So 20 divided by 4, that's going to give us a 5. But because we have one negative number there, this will be a negative 5. Negative 6 divided by 3, definitely 6 divided by 3 is 2, but we have one negative number right there. That's going to give us negative 2. But in this case, though, at number 3, we're looking at negative 10, negative 5. Two negative numbers dividing will be positive. So 10 divided by 5 is 2, and this response is a positive 2 because we have two negative dividing. Now let's look at 8 divided by 2, and that is definitely 4. Positive 8 divided by positive 2, and that's positive 4. Guys, this is all we have to remember. 
when whenever we have one negative number whether you're multiplying or dividing and there's one single negative number your answer will be a negative number in the end or if we have an odd number of negative numbers you will have a negative answer but if we have an even number of negative numbers we will be having a positive number thank you for watching daily maths concepts and see you next time for episode three when we will be looking at some special cases for example what happened if i'm adding uh probably a two plus a negative three like that what happened if i have a six minus a negative seven in episode three we're going to be looking at these so see you next time and be on the lookout for the next video thank you